So what do the skin care to touch screen displays have a couple of advantages? We need some more tactile feedback so you don't have to look at them and you can also sense where your fingers are and people like the clicking ability. However, there's a couple problems with them is that they can't see itself like in display as much. And they're not as flexible. And they also can use more power because of displaying stuff. So maybe we can look at a hybrid approach where you can have more buttons, but they use something like e-ink, which is um, little things, which are little things that have ink, and this ink can be encapsulated in little things, and these encapsulates have like have one part of it that's black, and one part of it's white, and this fancy ones with color. When you put electrical charts, the black ink or white ink goes to top, or vice versa, and switches around to give you color. This uses a lot less energy, and if it's displaying something already without motion or changing, it uses zero energy. So this will let you quickly, if you had a bunch of e-ink displays, each individual little button, you could change up all the buttons for custom usage. You could also, maybe this will promote the development of technology more, so it gets more competitive and better for other stuff. Or you could use it to make more of the keyboard actually useful for a bunch of different reasons. Another thing you could do is you could make the keyboard more solid, so less person intuitively gets in. And you could also um, do customization keyboard just for looks and aesthetics. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers a year, four thousand watch hours, which is really hard. With your help, I think can do it. Again, thank you very much. Goodbye.